Um, if you've never worked with me before or experienced any of our processing, we're going to invite you to turn the energetic volume of how you receive the energy really down to like a two, two to three, if you've never done this before. If you've done this with me before, then you can probably run this process at a four or five, okay? These processes, these shifting into higher consciousness processes are very lasered. They're very laser focused and um, they're very powerful. So I don't want to blow out any of your, um, you know, your grids or anything with it. So thank you. And that's the other thing they're reminding me. I just heard poor verbiage. So we're not going to blow anything out. Um, as a matter of fact, with the shifting into higher consciousness processes, they actually work in the opposite. We're going to model the energy a little bit like we talked to today about today. My guides, me, my team, we're all going to run the facilitate or run the process. We're going to do it on ourselves. We're going to send that energetic information to you at the level of your higher self. So any energy that comes in that's shifting is not by me. It's not by my team. It's not by my guides. It's going to be happening from you at the level of your higher self to work with your own energetic field. So when you're ready, let's take a deep breath in. And we're just going to set up a safe, sacred space by calling in your higher self, your team, your guides, the ascended masters, the angelic beings of love and light that you work with. And for some of you who aren't that woo-woo, I'm hearing you can call in God, goddess, source, creator to come forth now and surround you in this safe and sacred space. We call forth the appropriate sacred geometric healing shapes, holograms, and mandalas that have the capacity to support you today from a place of safety. And we ask that those intentions be held in your energetic fields. So taking a deep breath in, this is just, you can feel the energy just kind of coming in. This is just going to create a safe space where we can do the work because when you're safe, your soul feels safe, right? Then you get to do the work, then you get to do the actual shifting. So we're just going to invite you to lock your bottom feet, the feet, your feet chakras, the which are at the bottoms of your feet, to lock them onto the bottom of your aura. Just making sure there you are, you're grounded in and then move all of your intention and awareness into your heart space, heart center, or for those of you who work with me, your divine line in a clean, cleared, recalibrated, whole and healed state and into this present breath of now and beyond. So I can already feel like heart fluttering, which is anxiety for some people. So just move all of your energy and awareness back into there and breathe. Now, these next pieces I'm going to invite you to kind of zone out for. Do not do any visualization. Do not try and move the energy. Um, you really just get to sit and chill because we're going to go upstairs to the 12th dimension and we're going to connect with your higher self, your team, your guides. And we're going to process up there and then you get to sit down here and just receive. Okay. So first piece, we're going to invite you at the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to engage and locate all of your safety nuggets, all of the places where you either gave your safety away or however, in whatever reason, it may have been taken from you. So we're giving your higher self, your team, your guides, just a moment to go and find those pieces. <sighs> okay, they got them. And we're going to invite you to lift those nuggets up and off 
all systems, all levels, all components of everything and everyone. There you go. And bring them back to the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team's higher selves. <laughs> and all three of them are going to clean, clear, heal, and repair them. And then bring them back down onto your divine mind in a whole and healed state and into this present breath of now and beyond. So now you just get to sit here and zone out and just kind of wait for all of those pieces to kind of trickle in down from above. And here they come. Ooh. Feeling all of that safety that you were giving away or was taken from you, filtering in back down onto the divine mind in a whole and healed state. And we're going to invite you at the level of your higher self, bodies, higher self, and team to release all the empathic sensitivity that you were experiencing from others. <sighs> And send all those empathic sensations back. Send them all back to their right and perfect place where they can be received with all relevant and appropriate energetic information. Here's where you get to model the right energy, which means model how you have your safety nuggets back on your divine mind. And instead of being empathic, there you go. You get to reflect the solution, which is how you hold that nugget on your divine mind to them. And it's kind of like a saying, like, this is how I do it. I'm holding my safety internally. You can hold yours internally. This is how you do it. And we call that reflecting the solution. Because at the level of their higher selves, they already know how to do this. They just need to see how you're doing it. There you go. Return all responsibilities that you might have taken oof, for keeping other people safe, right? By gathering up all of their nuggets and said, I'll keep you safe. If you take them, they can't heal themselves. So let's gather up all those nuggets that you might have taken that are not yours, your body, or your teens. And send all of those back to their bright and perfect places where they can be received with all relevant, appropriate, energetic information. We call that stealing. We don't steal energetic pieces from other people because then they can't heal themselves. They have to go out and find more situations where they don't feel safe in order to be able to heal this piece. But now that you're returning these pieces to them at the level of their higher selves, their bodies, higher selves, and their teams, where they can receive it and actually do something with it. Now they can actually shift. There you go. Uh -huh. Now you're engaging in locating all attachments, anywhere that you're attached to keeping other people safe for whatever reason. I mean, maybe it even has a benefit for you. Well, if I keep you safe, you'll keep me safe energetically. And now you both have each other's nuggets and neither one of you are safe. So it really doesn't work. So let's locate all of those places and release all of those attachments and send them back we call that return and retrieve. So you're returning all of their pieces and you're retrieving all of yours. So delete, dissolve, return and retrieve. Again, back to the level of your higher self, your body's higher self and your team. There we go. We're just getting clean and clear. Like you're giving back their stuff. They're giving back yours. So everybody has their safety pieces. And they're going to clean it, clear it, heal it, repair it and recalibrate it. And then bring it back down to you, onto your divine mind, in a whole and healed state, and into this current breath of now and beyond. Just making sure everybody's okay. 
doing well with the energy. Okay, now we're going to recalibrate your mechanisms. So about a year ago, we made a shift from 3D consciousness into 5D consciousness. And those are actually different mechanisms. It's kind of like driving a 1950 car in 2020, right? It's a classic, but it can't quite keep up with the rest of the road and that's kind of like what our safety mechanisms are or our grids if you will it's kind of like some of you may still be riding in a 1950 uh, vehicle of safety and so tonight let's just kind of clean and clear them all first of all and then upgrade them to ones that are now in 2020 and focus or function from a 5D level. So I'm going to invite your higher self, your team, and your guides. Nope, your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and your team. And if your guides want to upgrade too, they can. And must have been a reason why I said that. <sighs> to engage and locate all of your safety mechanisms that you are using that either don't belong to you. There you go. Okay, they're not yours. All right, let's do that one first. They're not yours. So I identify those, engage and locate those, and lift the ones that do not work for you up and off, and they're not yours, right? So they're not yours, and they're never going to work for you because they're not yours. Engage and locate them and lift them up and off all systems, levels, components, and all aspects of your body, your being, and your team. There you go. There you go. And send those back <sighs> to their right and perfect places where they can be received with all relevant, appropriate, energetic information. There you go. Release all the empathic sensitivity that came with that. That's the other person's stuff. Let's make sure we send that back. And I'm inviting you, you at the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to then engage and locate in the higher realms your own unique soul mechanism for safety at this point in time in your current spiritual growth and evolutionary state. There you go. Mm. And then turn them on. Activate them upstairs. Turn them on. There you go. And then reflect those mechanisms down to you here. And into, there you go. And into your own sacred safety mechanism that you're using. There you go. Bring those in for yourself now. More, 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 more. Reflect it. More. Bring it in. There you go. Recalibrate your safety grids. Recalibrate the actual mechanisms that you're using. Upgrade your current mechanisms to this new 2020 version because the 1950s ones isn't working. They weren't yours. There you go. There you go. Upgrade to 2020. Enter the zone of 5D consciousness with these new safety mechanisms. Holding them internally within your own energy field. Relieving your own soul's unique safety mechanisms within activate them so that you can use them in the now so you don't have to wait for them to kind of come online we want to use them now right so active there you go use them now mm.
and anywhere that you've given any safety mechanism pieces to anybody else to use, like you had really cool ones and you wanted somebody else to have them, that doesn't work for them either. They can't have it. They can't make it work. So at the level of your higher self, bodies, higher self, and team, we're asking you to go retrieve those. Go find where they are because they're your own unique soul's um, way in which you hold safety. Find out where they are. There you go. Woo. And bring them back to the level of your higher self, body's higher self, team's higher selves. And clean them, clear them, heal them. Recalibrate them to your own soul's essence, lights, and codes. And bring them down onto your own unique soul grid for safety. And interweave them with your current new 2020 model mechanism. There you go. Just breathe through it all. We're asking for an activation of your new safety grid. So turn that on. Body, David, team, higher self. Turn them on. And I'm seeing like they're all like flicking the switch, right? So flick the switch, turn them on. So you can use them right now. There you go. Okay. Activate all of the spiritual lessons. And the spiritual lessons, body, David, team, higher self. The spiritual lesson of this evening is how to hold and cultivate greater safety within your own divine mind. So that that holding of that safety internally then gets reflected into your outer world, which means you feel safe at all times, no matter how crazy the world may be, you will always feel that inner safety, that inner peace, that inner calm, because you're holding your mechanisms internally. There you go. And you'll always have that inner knowing that you are always safe within. So let's activate the spiritual lesson. We're going to ask that all of these processes be updated and repatterned to your level of spiritual growth and evolution and to the degree that you so choose. Let it be so. Oh. Okay, you guys. So that's a pretty big process and you can re-listen to it to kind of let the mind kind of connect with the energy so I'm hearing that the shift is going to last for anybody who received it live it's about a two hour um, integration period it will take about um, two weeks to fully come in and online so this is not like a you know whoosh, magic woo it's done right and this is a really really big process you just asked your soul to recalibrate the way in which you keep and have kept yourself safe on the planet within your body and within your line connected to source and you asked it to move out of a discordant way of being and into greater alignment, which for a lot of you is super, super new. It's going from 3D to 5D, and that is a process. So for some of you, it may, two, may take you about two hours to kind of have the energy stop moving, and it will take about two weeks for it to kind of fully come in, come online, and then click. And have that actual shift in feeling that, oh, I do feel a little bit more safe. So when that happens, make sure you let us know. We're going to ask that you be wrapped in a safe, sacred container of love and light that is uh, has the capacity to seal these vibrations in to the degree that you so choose. This container should be of your own source or soul energy. It also has the capacity to gently and gracefully integrate all of these processes uh, from a place of balance, stabilization, and harmonization. Let it be so. Aho. And we thank, we thank the angelic realm of love and light who have come forth to serve and assist today. 
and we thank God, source, creator, all that is for their grace, patience, peace, and for these processes. May they serve you in a way in which serves your best and highest good and always to the degree that you so choose. Okay, you guys, uh, I hope that helps. Let me know uh, in the comments what you were experiencing, what your thoughts are, and um, how you're feeling over the next couple of days. Talk to you soon. Take care.